So let's talk about uh, create RAID limiting and add uh, DDoS uh, protection using WordPress uh, security plugin. As I mentioned as part of the previous section, uh, Darwin could be used for this, but again, I want to minimize the cost, so I'm just going to use the, the, the security plugin. Since so on our new website, it's there's not going to be a lot. I'm just going to uh, switch using my existing site. So what a WordFence plugin allows you to do, it gives you a very nice site. Like, so for example, I see the top IP is blocked uh, and we see a couple of them. So these will be based on various criteria. So uh, as a part of uh, the dashboard, uh, you can, uh, yeah, you have the settings here. You have a dashboard. Uh, you can see the number of attacks, uh, uh, last 30 days, they can go up and down. And as part of uh, tools is where you set up what do you want, like uh, how rigorous, well, uh, like you can see the live, live traffic. So for example, I can see uh, all of the, yeah, I can see all of the visits. I can block IPs, like is it human, is it non-human? Fail login, people are trying to log in. Uh, so that's another one. So I could literally just block uh, IP, like this is this is not right. So uh, and you, you can see they're just using brute force uh, to do this uh, and uh, so on and so on. And uh, yeah, this is useful stuff. And uh, you can block IPs and uh, you can run who is in uh, recent, see ra recent traffic. Uh, but where you do this, where you set everything up is on the all options. So you have an option to set up raid limiting and this is actually very strict. I'm using very aggressive rules for this. So uh, as you can see, like uh, if anyone's request exceeds 60 per minute, just throttle it. Actually, I'm going to set it to block it because, yeah, let's let's get even more uh, radical here. So uh, also throttle it. I'll just uh, block it uh, at this point. It, it doesn't make sense. Or if human uh, errors exceed 404, so they're hitting pages that don't exist. It doesn't make sense. So I'm, I'm just going to block it. Uh, and uh, when it's blocked, it is going to be valid for uh, like five minutes. And uh, that's uh, that's the most that uh, there's a bunch of other options that you have here. But this is the raid limiting and uh, how I set it up. So I'm going to save that. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, WordPress second, uh, well, two factor authentication. So what this allows you, uh, this plugin also allows you to do, which I have, of course, enabled on my uh, site, is uh, I'm not going to configure it. You can figure it out on your own, but I would definitely advise you to do this. So even if they're brute forcing, but even if they knew my credentials, they would be able to log in because after login with the proper credentials, it's still going to ask you for the second, uh, second factor authentication or the multi-factor authentication. And that's uh, how I did that. And uh, this, as soon as I had this enabled, it drastically helped me with uh, with uh, attacks, basically. So uh, let's move to the next section.